We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The New Orleans Zombies battle the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. Defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. First down and six. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and two. You've got to catch that. Third and two. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And look how happy that little demon is after that score. Ooh, that means he won't drag any souls into the pitch of hell for at least another three hours. Demons are so moody. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. 
Hot one, hot two, hey. Devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went in the woods. And Coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. This guy's a brick shithead. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Hey. Second down in a very lot. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. for a first down. down and five. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and five. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and hits upfield. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot two. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him 
around next time. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. <laughs> the teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> now it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. First and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Second down and a lot. Receiver makes a grab for five yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means they can wrap up the other half. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. With the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. 
And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that... Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. It's a touchdown! Hey, get your around. It's not murder if you have it covered, right? Take the head, do something about that mess, you fuck Yeah, we First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. good for a quick score because no one can catch this guy. Look at him. He's like speeding in balance. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. for a big game but still not enough for a first even i'm frustrated and i'm a team that not and that takes us to the two minute warning third down and the qb is saying his prayers and the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play they'll need to regroup quickly just for offense, Glenn? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. The offense is lining up to go for it on fourth down, and the defense is looking for a stop or a death. Either way, the offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Oh, with the brain scrambler. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. First and eight to go. Nice pickup for six yards. Second down and two. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Oh, the defense must have called. 
call it a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up with soil and beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we wanted to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And that'll be second and eight to go. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and five. for the touchdown. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. And they line up for the extra point. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and 10. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten and that's the way to get 
get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. down and six. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beat for Brain Man with a ball and didn't fall down. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. 
Second down and two. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The defender is one of the kicked in. He's so fast. He can... Oh, nice hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe up. And these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp him into the ground. <laughs> Second down and more. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He runs it for three. Third down and forever. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Nobody can touch you when I'm wrong. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
And it's first and ten. It looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. stepped up and blew up <laughs> he's got a lot of guts doesn't he and you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now hot potato gets him every time and it's first and ten Move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Third down and, well, good luck. And the two-minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. Third down and long. You know the defense wants some payback after that. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he just wrestles away from that tag. And the team refuses to quit. They stay alive with four new downs. First down and nine. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw to good, Grim. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some defense? No, you didn't see that too fast. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Grim, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shack carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? And he held on to that one for a first down.
first and four. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. Oh, and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Yo, seriously, man, if you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth, and that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned, because what the hell could be more important right now? Well, now that you mention it, Grim, I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And it's first and ten. down in a lot. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third down and the punter is warming up. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and he's going to try and score. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Ghost. <laughs> And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and one. Hey man, 
and nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Bob? The Hellboys come away with a big win today. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because I, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stands are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right.